Jesus Christ. I can't believe how much that's flooded. Look at the current. You wouldn't want to fall in there. Hail now! We'll be back over, it's lovely, it's lovely, it's hail now! Oh my god! I'm taking a shot on the EPA flight! We're going to head to Litchfield down. And Common. Uh, no. <laughs> Litchfield Common is something to do with you can get married there, can't you? Oh. No, Gretford Green, that is. Oh, Gretford Green. Got, oh, Gretna Green. I haven't got a seatbelt here. Gretna Green. Oh. Um, anyway. Sorry, Josh is getting. <laughs> we're heading to Litchfield now, and uh, it's Josh. only five minutes now, already. I'm tired. <laughs> no, it's not like phone. We're gonna see. We're gonna have a little quick look at the cathedral there as well, and I don't know. Then I might have a little little look around uh, the Litchfield Canal, see the restoration. Oh, I've got point tomorrow to do the blacking. Oh, <laughs> I got tomorrow to do the blacking. Yeah, okay. It's got another two days off yet. So yeah, let's go. The... Yep, for <laughs> once. Always forget. What do you want? Uh, got chicken, I've got about three chicken breasts. I haven't got our coke. I haven't no. got our coke, have they? No. Might have to have diet. He's going to ask. He's going to ask if they've got any. Thank you. Are you accurate? Yeah. yeah. I finally got me the great. I could probably get about five in there. It's only one pound twenty. Yay. How long have we been waiting for Andrew? These. Yeah, a couple of packs. Jesus Christ. Well, unfortunately, we don't have time to go see Lichfield Cathedral because Dad needs to get back and do the blacking on the boat. Yeah, you, you're going pets at home. We're going Wix and get a few bits of the van. <laughs> Don't know. But we still had time to come and visit the Litchfield Canal. Opened in 1797 with 30 locks over its 7 miles as it rose to Birmingham. It was originally part of the Worley and Essington Canal. So although not prosperous, it did make a profit and the prices of coal went down dramatically for Litchfield. But unfortunately, Trade did eventually die for this canal and then it was abandoned in 1955 and much of the route was subsequently filled in and quite annoyingly 20 years later there were plans to restore the canal. So then the Litchfield and Hafferton Canal Restoration Trust was formed and they've been working on three sites ever since. Today we're just taking a quick look at locks 24 to 26. And this was the first part of this canal to be filled in water again in April 2011. Although there is a new piece at Darnford Lane that has just been restored last year, but unfortunately we didn't have time to go visit that. Now this looks like the old lock chamber of lock 26 and as you can see they haven't restored it, they've sort of used it as a new sort of channel and a cutting. And what I think is happening here is they are lowering the canal so it can go under Cricket Lane without having to fully rebuild the bridge, I guess. Because if the canal lifted up, it would be level with Cricket Lane. The canal actually the canal actually diverts from its original route here, but a new route will have to be taken. Firstly under this road, Tamworth Road, there will have to be a new bridge built. And then it will go underneath the A38, which will have a bridge as well. So yeah, there's a lot of stoppages. Get off ass white! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> 
girl. <laughs> It was a beautiful evening and I just had to fly my drone to try and get a better shot of that sunset. Now I used to fly my drone a lot during sunset. Everything but the sunset is very dark because the dynamic range on drones isn't very good. So I don't really bother now, but it's nice to do it now and again. Stop. I mean, it's floods and everything really. Uh, a bit worried because we're going on the Avon uh, in well, the mid-March. We're going that way, aren't we? And yeah. then the river might be yeah. flooded. And there's more rain to come, of course, isn't there? So it's probably going to be on flood when we but get yeah. there. It is, it is isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah, but luckily it's a nice day for us to cruise again. Yeah. Which is good. Like a 10 mile, 10 mile cruise, aren't we Josh? Yeah. No yacht, so... We're cruising to, onto the Birmingham phase via um, Drayton Manor today. And uh, yeah, and then we've got to go through Birmingham mm. on Tuesday. We're going to cruise 5 miles to Curd, Curdworth. And then it's uh, 16 miles through Birmingham, but mm. we've got a lovely we've subscriber. Got, yeah, our subscribers Sue and, Sue and Tim Jackson are going to yeah come and see us on Sunday night and then take the van ahead yeah, so really I can kind. join them otherwise I'd have to mum would have to take the van yeah, ahead and I'd take the van ahead. ahead so lovely of them thank you guys yeah. I know you haven't done it yet but you will have by the time you see this <laughs> but yeah so thanks to them mm. and shout out to Steve Goddard who came yeah shout yeah. out to Steve I can finally return his hat that he uh, left oh god here. and guess what he done he left another he left hat, another hat. <laughs> so he's just cruised past us this morning so I passed both the hats over to him, but it's lovely having a chat with him. Had a catch up last night with him, didn't we? Which yeah. is nice. Can't so, see yeah. anything. It's too, too, yeah. Yeah, too sunny. Yeah. Anyway, let's get it's on. It's just nice to see the sun. It's beautiful. Yeah. That, of course, is the start of the Litchfield Canal, and there's like half a mile there that has been restored. But at the moment, it's being used as private moorings. Now, a basin down there has been built, which um, most of the boats will have to go in when that does open up to the public. Well, we had some more up here because I suddenly realised we had just forgotten the bird feeders. And of course, we're not walking back today. Whittington Wharf.
lose the railway, then you get a road again, now you lose the you get the railway again and you lose the road. Crazy this Coventry canal. I just spotted a big old branch over there just begging to be picked up so he had to stop and I had to go get that. It was pretty heavy there. Flooding. Well, that is supposed to be the River Tame, which is, you know, usually here a mid sized river. And it's supposed to go underneath that viaduct there, but um, <laughs> it's burst its banks and it's already in the field like a bloody lake. Big pile of past them, isn't it? I don't know if I've ever seen this spot empty, Mum. This is the popular spot. Oh, crazy. Well, there's Ben. No oh, one's here. Jesus Christ. Red flags out, that means they're there today. Bluebells are starting to sprout up. Lovely. That is the skyline of Tamworth through there. I can't believe how much that's flooded. Look at the current. Yeah. You wouldn't want to fall in there. No, it doesn't look like it's got much of a current to the place, So that's the river then, that bit there. In Hopwas, you've got two pubs right next to each other on opposite sides of the canal. The Red Lion or the Tame Otter. I have no idea which one's better than which. That giant pointy thing is the Literal Transmitting Station. It is 1,001 feet tall. It's been there since the 18th of July 1961 when it replaced the 450 foot original tower. The original tower was actually dismantled and taken to Jersey. It's an analog transmitter and when the digital switchover happened in the West Midlands in 2011, this tower doesn't really do much now. Just saying, I remember having the barbecue here. Yeah, we're Narabot Wheel. We're Narabot Wheel. We went yeah. to the car boot sale, didn't we? Went to the car boot sale, yeah. None of these houses were here then. No, and it's just totally changed. There's a new bloody housing estate here. Yeah. Brand new housing estate. It's not here before. Looks like that was the original farm there who owned all the land and it kind of looks abandoned now. He's probably sold all his farmland and that's it. He probably dipped after he got the millions and millions of pounds for the land. Wow, that is not a good looking cloud over there, is it? Shall 
car number two. Oh. The thing is, it's cold Love as well. Yeah, it is. Where did you really get cool. it? It blew up there, but it's been hit by a bloody rain cloud. Take a shot on the EPA drive. Just look behind you. I think that's the heaviest shower we've ever been caught in. Just stay under there. Yeah. Thank you, A5. <laughs> The only side's giving us shadow when we need it most. Thankfully this bridge was wide enough for that little GIP to get through. But we were sitting there for 10-15 minutes and then when the rain calmed down we went. No one's even in there. Looks like they've been backed into the fence. <laughs> yeah, it looks like they've backed into the fence, isn't they? And now here we go, onto the Birmingham and Faisley Canal. Now this canal takes us into Birmingham. The old mill. This is a beautiful old mill of the old industrial era. Thankfully, um, turned into apartments or offices now. And it's not just abandoned or demolished. We took shelter from that horrible <laughs> yeah. hail. Crikey, it's gone over now. Yeah, it has. Apart from that, it's an alright day. It's a bit yeah. cold, but. It is cold, it is cold. When you get caught on one of those showers, yeah, you know it. Oh, yeah, that was. Um, if we'd stayed in that, we would have been absolutely soaked and wet. Really cold. I'll yeah, just put the heating on. on in the boat so when we go in, yeah. it's nice and warm. But, um, yeah, yeah, we're on the Birmingham phase now, and the reason we're on here, not going down. Coventry and uh, the North Oxford is because the landslide. I don't know if I mentioned, but there is a landslide which happened on the 7th of February, and it's, I think they're hoping to get it open on the 8th of April. Yeah, so a long two time. Later. Yeah, so we can't go that way. Plus, we don't want to go that way anyway. Well, we, that would be my backup plan, you know. With the way things are going at the moment, with all this bloody rain, I don't, don't think we're going to. Yeah. So I was going to go down the Grand Union and do it the other way around. So but, um, many locks, guys. There's so many. Yeah, there's a lot of locks. Um, if we wanted to go this way, you know, and still go down the Grand Union, we'd have to go down Hatton Fly and loads and loads of locks on there just to get, you know, back to Braun Braunston, um, where that route could take us. The Coventry and the North Oxford could take us there in in how many locks? Well, About here, ten or twelve. We're going to go into. Um, We're going to go get a pump out now in. Um, Faisley Maria, it's owned by ABC, a bit expensive now, but um, Hopefully get we do need a pump out and uh, there isn't anywhere on our route to get a pump out uh, after this, so we have to. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
We're here at lunchtime, guys. <laughs> They're on lunch break between one and two, and it is quarter past one. I just fill up my water. Ah, <sighs> Deirdre. We waited for about half an hour, and the lady eventually came back and gave us a very thorough pump out. Now it's time to back out the marina and head to a moor. Wow, so I think that was once new, someone's prized possession, and now look at it. When did it all go wrong? I would love to know the story behind that. This part of the burning phase is quite nice actually because it heads because it heads through the Kingsbury Water Park and this consists of about 15 lakes over 600 acres of country park. And as hinted at by this old bridge here, all these lakes were originally gravel extraction pits. And once all the gravel had been taken out and the site eventually abandoned, it was converted to lakes and nature reserves in 24th of May 1975. Well, the GoPro is dead, now the phone's almost dead, so 
I might lose you here in a minute. <laughs> I knew there was rings here. Well, not exactly rings, but uh, the bollards. I remember there was something here. Good, there's only more for tonight.